Hi there, this is Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com with the Option Pit Trade Idea of the Week. Before we begin, reminder, uh, starting next Wednesday, we've got the Beginner Boot Camp. Go to OptionPit.com slash events or OptionPit.com slash begin camp. Normally $3.95, just $2.47. If you're a beginner or an intermediate, this is going to be the course for you. You are going to learn a ton. Um, now, reminder, this is for educational purposes only. None of this should be considered or construed as investment advice. Uh, consult your financial professional. So let's start by talking about the market. The market's been floating around. It's been down big and, in that, and is now just kind of crossing positive, floating around between up and down. Uh, the VIX has been up 83 cents and is now down 50 cents. So a nice range. That being said, if I look at the VIX futures, a couple things to point out. They are up on the day still. Uh, despite the, the little rally and the sell-off in VIX cash, VIX futures themselves are up. The spread between the futures has changed. Um, we have spent the last, I don't know, almost two months in what's called backwardation, where VIX futures trade at a premium uh, to uh, – where VIX futures trade at a premium to uh, the VIX cash. Well. That's changed, and uh, historically, this is what backwardation might look like, and this is what term structure looks like now. You can see there's a big spread between March and uh, the the Mar and the, the cash index. Uh, that's going to create some drag on on VIX itself, and is going to make VIX trading somewhat easier. So, for the first time, I'm looking at VIX and saying, "Boy, I'm not sure that I want to." Uh, I'm not sure that I want to own that. Uh, I want to be long premium in VIX in, in a little while, and I'm not sure. Place where it's no longer the this kind of scary index that's that's hitting into the 80s. Uh, you can see it's starting to back off. You can see that OIV is starting to back off. Uh, you know, this is the oil VIX uh, and is likely to keep going that way. Uh, GVZ, which is gold vol. All right, continues to go up and up and up and up. All right, so that's something that, that I'm keeping an eye on. I think gold is overpriced. Uh, but when, when I generally look around at, you know, UVXY and all of these different names, all right, I, I'm still bearish. All right, now, in the past, when I've been bearish, I might have played VXX because term structure was working in my favor. All right, but now term structure is not. Um, so rather than playing in, in VXX or UVXY, I'm going to play directly in SPY. I think VIX is going higher, the cash at least index is, and I think that um, – the market is ultimately going to go lower on the day. All right, so when I look, you know, I'm going to go out to like, you know, if I look at where the term structure is, where is it cheap to buy premium? Next week's puts are, are pretty cheap. We've had a, an, an interesting week. And if you look at where we're trading, look at the way volatility has moved. All right, with us trading here, I could buy an at the money put for about a buck seventy five. That that's less than we moved in a day on multiple occasions this week. All right. So if I'm right, I'll make my money back fast. And truth be told, I think a $3 and a $0.30 $3.70 straddle is probably too cheap in uh, in SPX or SPY. So, as I look, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to buy an SPY expiring next week, 173 put, and I'm going to play the market to drop. And that is the way I like things to happen. 
and and that is the way I th I think I think we're going to be lower on the day, and I think we could be lower on the week, uh, and with uh, and or excuse me, lower early next week. So uh, with that, I want to thank everybody for their time. Sorry about the little technical mid uh, technical sound issue midstream, but I think I got my point across, so I'm not too worried about it. And uh, I'm going to hope everybody has a uh, great day. And uh, I'll talk to you guys uh, next week.